Hi there guys, uh, I've just found a new car and it's a really awesome one. First because it's a Maserati and I love Maseratis, but secondly it has the exact same uh, skill perks as the Renault 5 Turbo that I've been using to get my skill chains up. So I'm now going to be using the Maserati instead. Now the car, you actually get it inside this one, so the 300S 1957 Maserati, which is a beautiful car, <laughs> who wouldn't want to buy this? It's very expensive, it is 6 million credits. So I'm going to get into that one first, and I'll show you this unlock. Now I actually recorded the unlock happening live, but the video was so bad, but the frame rate was less than one, it was insane. So uh, I, I cancelled that, and uh, I decided to do it again. So I have actually unlocked the car, but uh, here we go. Let's have a look in my car mastery. So this is the, uh, the perks on this one. That's the way you want to go, really. It's the cheapest way to get it. So we're on the bottom for three. Up here, we're six, we're nine, and then we've got a five, and we've got a 15. A 15? I thought that was a 10. So 29. So 15, five, a uh, couple of threes. Yeah, 29 points in order to get that. I mean, you could get another wheel spin for 10. I think that's a bit too expensive, so I'm not going to bother. And this has a seven times multiplier as well. I didn't even notice. So the Maserati 300, oh, this is twice as fast. So it's not quite as good as the Renault 5. Uh, you get twice as fast on the multiplier build, which is important. Uh, and you get a seven times multiplier. So you could use this car for your skill chain. It's a beautiful, beautiful car. It's nice to drive. It looks amazing. And it also looks... It looks nice from the inside or the outside, so whichever view you're using, that car is absolutely gorgeous. But the car that you unlock, <laughs> hey, oh, this is beautiful. Uh, it's a Maserati. So let's go down to those. And it's this one. And it's so nice. So it's got a, it's a Forza edition with a speed skills boost. It's the MC12 2004 Maserati worth 1.2 million. And boy, is it a nice car. It's really nice to drive, but it's a bit twitchy. Uh, it's, um, I tend to oversteer on it a lot. Oh, it's dark. That's a shame. I was hoping it would be, uh, be daytime. But anyway, let's have a little look at the uh, perks. I've not unlocked any of them yet. But it's exactly the same as the Renault 5 Turbo, the Forza Edition 1. The important skills are this one, three times as fast on your multiplayer, and this one, seven times skill multiplayer. When I unlock all the skills on this, the one I'm going to leave, which I have mentioned in a previous video, I'm not going to take the extra second, because you end up sitting and waiting too often for your skill chain to stop when you've hit the maximum. 71,000 uh, skill chain on a 7x multiplier will get you up to 500,000 points. That's the maximum for skill points. It caps you at 10 points, so you'll get instant 10 points for that. So there's no real point in going higher. I've gone a lot higher. I've gone for a 3.5 million skill chain, and of course it still gave me 10 points. The rest of these are pretty good. You've got a 20% on drift, 20% on air, 20% on ultimate skill chains, a 50% influence boost, and I mean all this stuff is useful. 30% on combo skills. The one second if you want it, I don't. 20% on wreckage. I, I don't really, this one doesn't mean much to me, but obviously it's a little bit of a bonus. So 20% there. Uh, the skill song, uh, the extra life of course that every car has, and the 10% influence in a convoy. So I've never been in a convoy before today. <laughs> today was my first convoy, and that was to do the Goliath race glitch. So if you've not seen that on my previous video that I've just uploaded, it gets you 1.8 million credits in about 30 seconds if you are not VIP. If you are VIP, you're getting 3.6 million credits in... Um, in about 30 seconds, and a, a ridiculous amount of wheel spins. So I haven't really taken my wheel spins yet, but I'll, I'll do a few now. I want to be in here, don't I? So yeah, it gives you loads of these, and as you can see, I've got 280 left to go. So I'm just going to skip through a few very, very quickly. I like the Morris Minor. I really do like that. My dad used to have one of these. They are beautiful cars. So unfortunately, uh, he had it before I was born, and by the time I was born, he didn't have it anymore. He had a Ford Cortina um, when I was little, and then uh, exchanged that one for an Austin Maxi. <laughs> so our family holidays were in the Austin Maxi, but uh, yeah, he had one of these originally. But um, let's continue. No, I'm not going to do many. I'm just going to do a few. I'll do one. I'll do this until I get a good car. 
and then I'm going to close the video down. So I do apologise again for the uh, the sound. Uh, I know it's really bad. I will get it sorted. That's a nice car. This is a car that a guy I used to work with. His name's Steve, and we both used to work at McDonald's um, many many years ago, back in about 1990. It's my first job out of school. He now has one of these. It's kind of a sky blue colour. And if you ever see one of these parked around the Midlands, he, his, his family live in the Neaton, and he quite often goes to visit them there because that's where he grew up. Uh, so you often see his car parked around the Neaton town. So yeah, this, uh, this sky blue um, Porsche Speedstar 356A 1957. So yeah, he has one of those. I say my friend, but we're not really friends. We just used to work together a lot of years ago. But he's, he's an awesome guy. He currently runs some sort of uh, business on the internet, which is what I do as well. I might have told you all this already. If I've had this car in a spin, then I will have told you all this already, but it is a beautiful car. Unfortunately, because it's just someone I know, uh, who I've not really kept in touch with, I've not been in it. So <laughs> if it was still friends, I would have begged him to let me have a go. But yeah, I've not been in the car, but uh, it's absolutely beautiful. And in that sky blue color, it's kind of like a baby blue. It looks spectacular. So yeah, really, really nice car. In the game, it's not very expensive. Um, I, I can't remember how many you get it for. Let me skip out of this and exit. And I'm just gonna get in that car. So, I wish it was daytime in the game. So Porsche. So P, where are you? Way over there. Oh, I should have gone backwards. Uh, so yes, where is it? There it is, look. It's new, I haven't got another one, so I might have unlocked one, but 300,000 credits, it's very, very cheap. It's not got brilliant skill sets, but it's still a very, very beautiful car. So it's worth just getting in and cruising around. Okay, the sun's starting to come up, so we'll have a look at the perks while we wait for the sun. Oh, some cheap wheel spins. Um, some, it's going to have 200,000 credits up there, that one's always 200,000. This is going to be a six times multiplier. So it's not bad, certainly not bad. Uh, it's certainly worthwhile driving it about. You've got a very cheap wheel spin for three, and then if you want this as well, it's going to cost you nine, so you've got to get the extra two. You can't go that way because it's ridiculously expensive. And then if you're going to pay some extra and go up here, you're going to get a rebate. So you get the car for 200 credits off. What was it, 300 and something? It was 300. So you're getting the car for 100,000 credits. Pretty good. And it is absolutely beautiful. I might paint this one blue. Actually, the way this looks in this light, it looks a lot like Steve's car. So, look at that. It's a really, really beautiful car. Let's get inside. And thank you to the guy that taught me how to do this. If you don't know how to do this, you have to push your stick straight up, and then you can rotate left and right. But you can't look down into the car. You can just do that. But, I mean, I was doing this and seeing nothing. So, let's see what it feels like. Could be Steve. I'm not going to say the guy's second name because it's uh, personal information, although I almost did. But yeah, Steve, who used to work at McDonald's back in the 90s, drives one of these cars. That was my first job out of school. I absolutely loved it. It's not super fast, but I mean, it goes over 70 miles an hour, so in real life, that's enough. But it's not about speed when you've got an old classic like this. It's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I know I've said this before about old cars, but when you look at old cars like this, the shape of them, I mean, you can absolutely tell that this car has been made by some old professional guy who's had his job for, you know, dozens of years, decades, and he's got a little hammer that he keeps in his locker, and every day he goes to work and he bangs his hammer on metal, like a proper old school panel beater. Let's get a little drift around this corner. Oh, don't, don't hit the wall! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry, Steve. Uh, that probably made you cringe if you ever watch this video. I don't think you will. Oh, it's so nice. So, so nice. Lovely how it's got those, uh, the two exhausts instead of just one as well to, to keep the symmetry. Yeah, that is a seriously beautiful car. I'll be driving this a lot. I tell you, the, the kind of front end, the way it curves over like that, it's a little bit like um, the MGB MA, I think it's called. Uh, that curves over at the front, and I've not really had much of a drive in that one yet, so I'm just going to jump in there. Just, I know I said I was going to close the video a long time ago, but uh, I want to jump in the, um, 
the MG. You don't call it an MG BMA. I did, didn't know. I'm so used to these. I have a lot of these. <laughs> I have one of these though. It, it's not. It's a very very nice car. I love that curve at the front, but um, it doesn't really give you any good perks. But if you're wondering why I've got so many MG BM, MG BMBs, it's because they give you 300,000 credits and you can buy them for almost nothing. So this is also a very, very beautiful car. It does look a lot like a Porsche, doesn't it? It looks like that Porsche we've just been in, but it also looks a little bit like a 911. The lines at the front with those lights, it's very porsche and it's absolutely beautiful, but we've got to get inside. That's a very nice interior, isn't it? Wow. Look at the key. <laughs> I'm having no more keys on my key fob. I don't want to damage my dashboard with keys banging around while I'm driving. We've just got this one solitary key in the ignition. That's all we've got. So it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh, it sounds good as well. I'm on my controller, so um, the steering wheel is kind of glitch, 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 glitch. You have to just keep tapping. I don't want this, uh, oh, it's okay, it's gone the other way. I didn't want anyone to crash into me and damage my car. Is that, am I in top gear already? Hey, it goes as fast as the Porsche. It goes faster. Oh, it goes 80. This is really nice. I might have this as my car to drive around in. Perplexed worm up ahead. Oh, I'm down near the Goliath. Yeah, that hack on the Goliath is unbelievable. Actually feels a little bit too much like cheating for me though. I don't think I'm going to do it too many times. But, uh, ah, shit. <laughs> oh my God. I bet, I bet he's doing it now. Hello, I bet you're doing that hack, aren't you? Yeah, he will be, won't he? But waiting because I want to do the hack with. He's in a nice car. Oh, that's the, uh, the Forza Edition uh, Pagini, isn't it? It's a nice car to drive, that one is. So yeah, Perplexed Worm for, in the Forza Edition Pagini. A very nice car. And also wearing ridiculous glasses. <laughs> Look, he's looking at my car. Stop looking at my car. Oi, you bitch, go on, get out of it. I'm going to do a little bit of off-road. Oh, that made me cringe. <laughs> and I'm going to have a look at the outside of this beautiful car. Do, 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 do. I haven't got the radio on, let's get some music. Uh, I think I'd prefer the theme tune to Noddy. Oh, Rapper's Delight, absolutely awesome. Well, we're going to cruise around and listen to Rappers Delight. There's a couple of uh, Eric B and Rakeem tracks on this radio station as well. I like that stuff. It takes me back to uh, the early 90s, late 80s. She should dance in the car. Oh, that should be good. If she danced a little bit in the car, a little bit of a, a, little bit of a boogie to the music, and it'd be nice if she put her hand out the window as well, you know, when you catch the wind. Yeah, I'd like to see her doing that. Very, very, I mean, it feels slow because I've just been driving that Maserati around everywhere. Right, that's enough. It's just, uh, Hey. I'm going to teleport. I don't like using the teleport thing. I think it's just wrong. Oh, I was really far away though. I'm going to go to my house up here. Oh, I haven't bought it. I thought I bought the castle. Oh, I bought it on my other, my other thing. Um, I haven't got the castle. I was going to just teleport to the castle. Well, there it is. I was going to teleport to the castle uh, just so that I could... Um, shall I buy it? I can buy it now. Or shall I buy Edinburgh Castle? I've got shit loads of money. So which one shall I buy? What's the Edinburgh Castle perk, I wonder? So yeah, let's go there. Let's buy Edinburgh Castle. I feel like I should put timeless classics on while I'm buying a castle and get changed into a more suitable outfit. But no, I'm just going to do it in this. Right, so... Well, I was going reverse. It was a bit, a bit confusing. 
Let's go and buy Edinburgh Castle. I think I prefer Bamburgh Castle than Edinburgh Castle. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, I get an Alfa Romeo P3 <laughs> and 10 super spins. Ah, I, I like the Alpha, so I'm going to buy it. I'm going to see what the Alpha gives you. I can't remember what my perk was for buying the other castle. A load of people cheering. Yay, someone's bought the castle. <laughs> yes, I would like to set this in mind. The guy didn't say anything. Normally they say a load of stuff about you being a custodian and all that kind of thing. But he didn't say anything. That's a bit weird. So um, let's go to my cars. And what did I get? It was an Alpha, wasn't it? So the Alfa Romeo uh, P3. Oh, look how beautiful it is. <laughs> right, let's get inside this and uh, see what we have in our, in our perks. Oh my God, I'm going to be driving this a lot. That's a really, really beautiful car. So let's... Um, can I change cars in here? I, I want to go to the car perk thing. I don't know if you can do it from then. I'm sure you can. I, can, I think people have told me you can. Isn't that an amazing car? Wow. Right, let's see what it's got inside it. Oh, I was really hoping that it unlocked something else, but it didn't. Um, twice as fast. Uh, yeah, I've seen this pattern before. Some expensive wheel spins. Nothing else really to talk about in here. But it is beautiful. Wheel spins a bit. That is an inappropriate song for this car. Oh, Claire de Lune. So uh, we have the Boosie. Don't hit me, don't hit me, I'm going to lose control. <laughs> ah, thread the needle. Yay. <laughs> oh, it didn't give me it. it. didn't give me the bonus. Okay, we need to slow down. There's a roundabout. I'm not going to crash through that bonus board. I don't want to hit anything. <laughs> I don't know if I like this view on this car. It doesn't feel quite right. Ooh. I'm going to go back to this. Get your bloody van away. <gasps> yeah, I think I actually prefer this view on this car. It's a lot easier to control than you might expect. Look at those springs. Oh, look at the suspension. The exhaust pipe wobbling away. I need, gl I need goggles. No, no. Right, I'm going to drive down here and buy the other castle so that I can park this car in Bamburgh Castle. I prefer Bamburgh Castle to Edinburgh Castle. Uh, I did say in another video that I had to show my wife this castle on Google Earth to prove to her that it is real. <laughs> so yeah, I was showing her it and I was saying, look, this is where I'm standing. This is where my car's parked. <laughs> oh no, don't hit that van. Oh no, don't hit the fence! Oh, just, just clipped it a little bit. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I feel like I'm not dressed appropriately for my vehicle. And you can't turn the radio up. Well, I don't think you can. I've not really investigated. Ah, shit! <laughs> Hello! Oh, listen! <laughs> I forgot to put that on. I never use it. I think it was the first horn I unlocked, so I immediately uh, assigned it to my car. I just never use it. It's quite tricky to use. I find it hard to drive and press the horn at the same time. I normally end up doing this. Right, before we buy the castle, what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to go into the beauty spot and have a little look at it. Oh no, I've got, I've got to crash into the car park, haven't I? I'm not happy about that. I'll do it carefully. Oh no, I can get through. Yay! This man's going to say someone's just bought the castle. Here we go, here we go. Listen. 
timeless FM booth, ladies and gentlemen. It was a lovely surprise. I thought she'd come to say hello, wish me well, perhaps sit and listen to some music with me. Turns out she wanted to borrow my spray jacket so she can go and watch the Horizon Dirt Racing series. Oh, he's not You'll bring it back if it's still raining when I leave here, won't you, love? Oh, I thought he was going to say someone's just bought the castle, but he didn't. He will do, though. They always do. So, yeah, he'll say someone's just bought Edinburgh Castle. And he'll also say someone's bought this one as well when I have uh, when I bought this one. She's going to do a stupid dance, isn't she? <laughs> She's going to do a very inappropriate dance. I told Kira, if we're going to do Horizon in the UK, we have to make sure it's well defended from the sea. I should have said it to Floss, because that one really makes me laugh. It's so funny. But no, she's doing this, uh, the robot thing. It's not called the robot, it's called Popping or something, I don't know. But I wish I'd have said it to Floss. Anyway, let's go and buy Bamborough Castle. Can I get out this way? Ooh, I'm skidding all over the place on this car park. No, that's a wall. I'm not crashing this beautiful car through that wall. Gotta go all the way over here. Whoops. <laughs> go on, get through. Well, where's the actual entrance? Is this it? Here. Right, we'll go up here then. This is going to be my drive. <laughs> just, just driving home to my castle. Oh, I don't want to go in there, do I? I want to go to this one. I almost started that event by mistake. Yes, I would very much like to buy this castle, please. So... I think I might be able to hook you up with a castle. I've got one already! <laughs> no, I'm not going to let anybody in my castle. In fact, if anyone tries to come to my house, I'm going to shoot them with a cannon. Right, let's buy it. Let's buy it. And then let's load the cannons. <laughs> I'm the Lord of Bambura Castle. Don't get any ideas. Oh, that's beautiful. <sighs> Look at my car. Yes, it's nicer than Edinburgh Castle. Right, let's get away from this. And... Well, hello, your royal highness. You Ooh! Space for all your cars in that castle. So, Bamborough Castle has... Yes, I do. Oh, we'll just have a look at the castle first of all. That's a beautiful castle, I like it. Not my favourite, I think Warwick Castle is possibly my favourite castle, or Carnarvon Castle, but this is also a nice one, but I do love Warwick Castle. It looks like you imagine a castle to look like when you're a little kid and you draw one, and it's nice how you can, I mean, I've had uh, a few medieval banquets there, and it's really nice, and also one of the ghost night things. Yeah, it's an awesome castle, really awesome castle. And if you go there in the winter, um, they sometimes have an ice rink in the middle of the courtyard, uh, so you can ice skate and there's like mulled wine and mince pies and it's a brilliant, very beautiful setting. So I do like Warwick Castle a lot. And I, I don't, well, I, I live very far away from there now. I live about 5,000 miles away from there. But I used to live very close to Warwick Castle. So yes, that's, uh, that's my favourite. And then Carnarvon Castle. <laughs> my rundown of my favourite castles. And then Bunbury Castle. Uh, Edinburgh Castle I'm not quite so keen on. I, I think mostly because it's right in the middle of the city and I prefer a castle to be, uh, uh, you know, up on a hill. Corfe Castle down in, near Swanage, I mean it's derelict, it's just a couple of walls up on a hill, but I love that one. When you're driving up to it you see the hill and then you see the, the remains of Corfe Castle on the hill. That looks amazing. I wish that castle hadn't been broken down. What was I going to do before I got carried away with my top ten castles? <laughs> Uh, where are we? I want to look at the barn find. So in order to do that, I need to look at my map. Oh, I hope this is something really special. Oh, it's just there, look. So yeah, let's, let's find the barn find. See what it is. It's going to be something good. No doubt, it's got, it's got to be something good. But, wah! <laughs> I imagine it's going to be something old. I mean, these barn finds are very easy to find. Um, I can't do it in this. 
I cannot just rag around and smash down through trees in this beautiful car. So I'm going to change, yeah, favourites. I'm going to change to something more sensible that I don't mind smashing. Have you seen, look at this car here. I've seen this on a couple of cars. Inside this car, it has a skill chain times six and it has a skill chain times seven. And I've seen that in a couple of cars. I did try to see whether or not it just goes to seven or it goes higher through some weird glitch. But uh, it was so hard to get a skill chain in this crappy car that was really slow. I couldn't do it. Maybe if I download um, a, a tune for it, it'd work. But I'm going to do this in my Renault 5. And I think I need a different radio station for this car. It's really, this isn't a Renault 5 radio station, is it? So... We should have stopped with that, really. Actually, yeah, the, the radio, uh, the host, oh shit, I missed it. We'll go for the drum and bass. Right, let's find this then. I think they're pretty easy to find because they're always um, the same thing. It's the same colour. A uh, little garage thing. Oh, I think I've seen the, the garage already in this area. I think I saw it ages ago, just whilst driving around. And I thought to myself, oh, if there's a barn find that comes here, that's where it is. And it was more south. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I've actually seen the barn. And I think it was just south of here. But yeah, because the barns all look the same, it's pretty easy, you know what you're looking for. Well, it's obviously not there. I can't even remember what this video was about. <laughs> was it about the Maserati? Oh, I got a little bit carried away. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to call this video. <laughs> it's going to need three different, oh well, it's going to be called Unlocking the Maserati, Buying Edinburgh Castle, Buying Bamburgh Castle, and uh, The Barn Find. It's not in here, is it? I've been around this area loads. Pretty sure it's not here. I could have swore it was just over here. But, um, I don't know if the barns actually appear only after it's been a, like a barn find alert. I doubt it. I don't think they'll have an old, an entire building just appear. But yeah, I have seen a barn in this area. But I can't quite remember where. I'm going to change. I was looking at my radio, so if you saw the barn, right, I'm going to stick, no not that one, let me get to pulse, oh I missed it, is it the first one? Yeah I'll have pulse on for a little while whilst I'm uh, popping around here. Right, while I was looking at the radio station, I hope that you guys didn't see the barn and then you're thinking, it's the other way, it's behind you! God, where is it? Where is it? Hey, it's pretty handy that I'm in this car, because it gives you a lot of skill points really, really easily. I could have done it in the Maserati, but I, it feels wrong to... I'm having to shower, let's turn the radio off. Right, there we go, let's just have a little bit quiet. I'm also going to turn down the actual TV a little. So I know that my uh, the sounds of my recordings are absolutely horrible, so... I don't want to have to shout, and uh, you've probably got it turned up full anyway to be able to hear what's going on. I can't believe how much trouble I'm having finding this barn. Uh, fine. If the um, the drone could go up high up in the air, that would make this a lot easier, wouldn't it? But it's never taken me this long. I think I must have driven past it when I was looking at the radio. So you guys probably know where it is. 
No, I don't. But you normally find them almost instantly. I'm certain it's not over there. But if it is, no, it's not over there, is it? I drive around there all the time. So if it was over there, I certainly would have would have uh, remembered that. Looking for those telltale red bricks. Right, because I normally find them really, really quickly, I don't bother kind of doing any, any pattern and work it. Is that it over there? I never bother doing like a pattern and systematically working my way through the area. But I really wish that I had done this time because then I'd know where I've been and where I've not been and I've been paying no attention at all. Let's just stop on this hill and have a look around. No. It's obviously not going to be the Capri. Uh, because if it was, other people will have done this, for sure. And uh, there'd be loads of videos telling you how to get the Capri, which, I mean, I haven't checked recently, but I, I have looked to see whether anyone's found it. And as far as I'm aware, nobody has yet. So it's not going to be the Capri. And I, I expect it to be an old car as well. I'm, I'm not expecting it to be anything new. I can't believe how much trouble I'm having finding this damn car. And the most annoying thing is, I'm sure, absolutely sure, I've seen this barn in this area. There is a building up ahead. I don't think it's a barn, but there's certainly a building there. Oh, it's, it's outside of the circle anyway, it's too far away. Oh, it wasn't a building, it was just a car park. I think it's drone time. And I am really apologise that I didn't do this in some sort of order, so that uh, I wasn't wasting your time. You could hide it. Uh, oh, these trees will hide it quite easily, wouldn't they? So there's a good chance it's around this area and hidden amongst these trees. Let's just try and knock some of them down. Just look up on here. It's much easier to see what you're doing when you're high up. Now I'm going to get in the drone. I can't believe how long this is taking. It's just stupid. Go up as high as I can. And uh, I'll systematically go around the area so that I definitely won't be missing it. So I'm going to go around the outside-ish first. And then I'll work my way inside. I don't normally do this. Normally I find them almost instantly. And I've actually said on a few videos how ridiculously easy they are to find. It's kind of a little bit too simple. But maybe I've just been too lucky. I've got most of the bar finds. I think there's only about three uh, that I haven't unlocked yet. But I haven't had a bar find alert for a long time. This is much more peaceful, isn't it? <laughs> oh, look, there's an event going on at my castle. I better be getting some sort of commission for that if they're using my grounds. Make sure it's not right on the edge. Good God. I'm certain, absolutely certain it's not over here. Because I drive around this area all of the time. But um, this is where I get my skill. Oh, I can go fast, can't I? I do apologise for wasting your time there. It's definitely not on the beach. I drive around this all the time, but for the sake of completion, I am going to absolutely make sure that it's not something that appears only when they tell you that it's available. That would be stupid though, a building just popping up out of nowhere. And it's not hidden in these, is it? I haven't had that board yet, should get that. I 
I've only ever done uh, this once uh, with the drone looking for a barn car, and it was the first barn car, and I was expecting them to be very, very difficult to find. So I just immediately got the drone out looking for it, and then realised they're actually very easy to find, normally. Uh, but I did realise that when you go near the barn with the drone, it actually marks the, the actual location on your map, which is very useful for when you're going back to it with the car. It is a shame that you can't open the actual map when you're in the drone. Is that it over there? Ah, yes it is. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> it's some bales of straw. Oh, hey. Jesus. I have kept very close to the edge. So I can start working my way back in now. I'm, I'm pretty much back to where I started. So I'll spiral inwards towards the center. Am I just being absolutely blind? Have you guys seen it already? Good God. I think when you upload a video to YouTube, you can kind of like pick a section and make it go faster. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to make you see through it. <laughs> but yeah, I should, shouldn't I? I should get all of this searching for the barn find car and speed that up. But then you wouldn't get my commentary. <laughs> There's not really much, much to miss, is it? So yeah, I'm going to pull myself right into the circle now. And uh, let's just whiz down here a little bit faster. I'm certain it's not on the left of this road. Certain. Uh, so I'm going to keep myself in this area. And just slowly work myself up and down. Level with the road. I think that's probably enough. God. Is it hidden in these buildings? Is there a barn inside this barn? No. That would have been a little bit naughty. I'm, I'm assuming that it's going to be exactly the same. Which way is north? I'm assuming that it's going to be exactly the same as all the other barns, kind of like uh, the red brick building with the corrugated uh, roof. So I'm not looking for anything I haven't seen before. This is unbelievable. And probably really, really frustrating for anybody watching. I should have just stopped the video after the Maserati, shouldn't I? Was that mine? Oh no. <laughs> I was thinking, is that my car? No, it's, uh, it's a piece of wood. Uh, it helps if you're not completely blind um, when you're looking for a barn. So yeah, I should have just done the Maserati, stopped the video, and then just made a, a new one for this. Was that it over there? That's way too far away, and no, it's a, it's a roof of building. How can I not have found it yet? How is that even possible? Jesus. Is it on this hill? <gasps> is that it? It's, oh, God, no, it's not. It's a bush. I really thought this bush was it. I bet this is easier in winter. We haven't got all these leaves in the way. I can't believe I've not found it. Oh, I'm too close to the edge, so I've obviously been all around this area already. Right, I very much apologise for this appalling search. Let's have a look in that little wood over there. This appalling search for the barn. I know I should have just gone up and down, up and down, up and down from the beginning, which I, I did say I was going to do, but now I'm not, am I? I'm just flying around haphazardly all over the place in locations I've probably looked many times. So yeah, I, I appreciate that this is incredibly painful for you guys to watch. 
I'll tell you what I'll do. In the description, I will do some time tags saying the uh, interesting points on the video. So I'll put a time tag for Binding Castles. I'm going to go make 100% sure it's not here. I know it's not here. Uh, I'll put some timestamps on the video saying by Edinburgh Castle, timestamp, by uh, Bamborough Castle, timestamp, actually find the barn, uh, find, another timestamp, which is probably going to be a couple of hours in. Oh my god, where the hell is it? I mean, I do drive around here a lot. And I, I absolutely know I saw a barn in this kind of area. And I wanted to put a pin in my map uh, when I saw it. So I thought, ah, they'll tell me about that. And uh, I'll have to go and get it. So I really wanted to put a pin in the map. I didn't, uh, because you can't, as far as I'm aware. I'm, I, no, you can't. And now, I'm spending a huge... Hello, do you know where the car is? Do you know where the barn car is? Will you show me? Uh, I haven't really looked up here very much, have I? I did go on this uh, railway track and look down the hill. How far does this go towards the edge of the circle? Well, I didn't realise we could cross this road. But obviously I went around the outside, uh, you know, about three or four hours ago. <laughs> it's a bit of a bitch when there's a lot of trees. It makes it more difficult. This car has to be spectacular. So obviously when I get it, I won't be able to look at the perks or do anything. But we'll know what it is. And then uh, when the guy's fixed it up, I'll make another video and show you exactly what, uh, what the car has inside. I'm hoping that it has another car inside. I mean, that's the most exciting. But if it's got good skill points, that would be pretty cool too. This is unbelievable. <gasps> is that it? Is that it? No, it's a sodding bush. It's like the red bricks are the same colour as those bushes, so... Perhaps autumn is the most difficult time to find a barn finder. I'm, I'm so certain it's not over here. But I'm going to, I'm just going to go around these. I don't drive around these, but I do drive around this area. So, I mean, is there a chance that it's hidden in amongst these little chalets? I don't think so. But it's worth just looking for the sake of ruling them out. No, it's not, is it? It's not hidden amongst those. And I also drive down this path quite often. I'm absolutely certain that I haven't seen a barn along this, this path. But Jesus, I, just, I haven't seen one in the circle anywhere, so it's got to be somewhere. But yeah, the barns are quite small. It could be hidden in some trees, and I could have driven past it loads of times without seeing it. So it's worth just taking a little look over here. I'm glad I got out of the car. I think it's much easier to search in this than it is to search in a car. Wish I could go higher. So do we have anything hidden in this tiny little wood? No, I'm really sure it's not on this side, on the beach side of that, that main road. Well, at least when I find it, if it's something that you want to unlock yourselves, then uh, you'll know where it is. So you don't have to go through all of this nonsense. So yeah, as I said before, I will be putting a timestamp on the video, so if you're still watching this now and you want to just go down to the more info and click on the timestamp, then we will be travelling forward in time to whenever I manage to find this thing.
me go along this ditch, because if it was in this kind of ditch, I might not have seen it. I'm sitting quite close to the TV, and my eyes are starting to go fully. <laughs> oh my god. If I'm, if I'm doing a, a, a racing game, in fact, to be honest, almost anything if I'm playing on the Xbox, but particularly on a racing game, I like to sit as close as I comfortably can to the television. And um, what was that up there? No, it's just a bush. I like to sit very close to the television so it feels as real as possible, uh, especially if I've got the steering wheel, which I'm not at the moment, I'm just on the controller. But I do want to get a better steering wheel with force feedback. So yeah, you guys, if you've got a really good steering wheel that you'd like to recommend to me, I do intend to buy a new one, so let me know. But I'll tell you what, anything like that is so expensive over here. I uh, live in Colombia, and all technology over here is really expensive. Um, I, was looking, I can't remember what it was, it might have been a phone, might have been a bit of technology or something, but I was looking at it in England, and it was £1,000. Over here, that same piece of technology was the equivalent of £1,250. Ridiculous. The Xbox One X, I think in England they're about 400 and some at 499 something like that. Here, they are £650. Well, they're you know, Colombian pesos, which are ridiculous, but uh, yeah, in English, they are £650 in, uh, in Colombia to buy an Xbox One X. Absolutely outrageous. All technology. <gasps> there it is! No oh, shit, no it isn't. <laughs> oh my god. But I hadn't seen this building before, so I'm in a place I've not been. Let's have a look around. Or is that the building I thought it was before? These trees could really, really hide quite a lot of stuff pretty easily. So let's take a good look around these. So yeah, Colombia is a really, really expensive place to live. Uh, the food is cheap, the restaurants are absolutely spectacular, like mind-blowingly spectacular. Incredible service, incredible food. You feel like you're at uh, like a Michelin star chef restaurant everywhere you go, and it's really, really cheap. You go to a, a restaurant that gives you like 12 courses and dry ice on your table and all sorts of crazy things. You have a load of coffee and champagne, and you pay the same amount of money that you could expect to pay at Frankie's and Venice. It's insane. So yeah, absolutely incredible, incredible value for money, for food. But if you're buying stuff for your house, it's very expensive. So to come on holiday here is cheap, but to, uh, but to live here is very expensive. Any technology you buy is an absolute rip-off. Buying stuff like bed sheets and towels are very expensive. Uh, trainers, uh, just for a pair of New Balance trainers, it's so much money, it's insane. And the money is quite silly anyway. Um, £10 is about 50,000 Colombian pesos. So whenever you go and buy anything, the numbers are really high. So yeah, there's uh, <laughs> some information about Colombia for you. <laughs> Come here on holiday and go in very expensive, well not expensive, very exclusive and beautiful restaurants with amazing service and incredible food and pay hardly anything for it. it makes you feel really wealthy. It's all utterly awesome. Do you think that bar... Bar find was a rumour. Jesus. I cannot believe it's taken this long. Absolutely incredible. I'm guessing nobody is listening to what I'm saying right now because you will have all skipped all this. How can it be so hidden? Every other one of these things I found almost immediately, within like about 15 or 20 seconds of being in the circle. And I, I did honestly think they're too easy to find. They should have made it more difficult. I, I am driving around, well, flying around like an absolute idiot. I'm not paying much attention to where I've been. But I must have flown past it already. I always think those big logs are something exciting. I've not seen my car uh, while I've been flying around, so whatever, wherever I pop my car, I'm certainly not looking around that area, that's for sure. Get out of the way. God, when I saw the barn before in this area, I wished it had allowed me to put a pin in the map.
of people who people will be looking at this video and they'll be saying how to unlock the uh, whatever car it was. It was a Maserati, wasn't it? Uh, and I think, why is this video so long? <laughs> I get loads of people that leave comments and saying, hey, dude, you need to, uh, you know, um, not talk for ages and make shorter videos of people, you, your channel will grow more and people like it more. No, it's like, this is me and th all of my videos will continue to be me rambling on about something while I'm doing something very slowly in a game. Uh, and that's going to be my channel. So if that's what you like, then you'll like my channel. But if you don't like that stuff and you just want information, it's like, it's, you load a video, information, how do I make free money? Okay, bye. Uh, if that's what you want, there's loads of channels that do that. It's, that's not my thing. And it's like all the people that I subscribe to, I subscribe not because of the information. I, I subscribe to the personality. So, I mean, my advice to anyone who wants to build a YouTube channel, just be yourself. And that's what people, I, I mean, I don't know for sure. I don't know if people like my channels because uh, of me um, or because of the information that I give. But uh, you could subscribe to anyone's channel. Ah, this is a good vantage point, isn't it? But yeah, my channels will always be <laughs> ridiculously long videos of me bumbling my way through a game and uh, hopefully revealing some, uh, some interesting information for you. Every time I get a game, the first thing I do is try and find some kind of cheat or hack. And it's like, even if I don't use it, I love finding them. If I can find something in a game that's not supposed to be there, I absolutely love doing that. I thought I'd seen it then. Okay, I'm starting to hallucinate now. I really thought it was this, this red bush here. God, I wished it was winter. In winter, it's just white, a bright, well, it's not bright red, but a terracotta red building that stands out in winter. What is that up on that hill over there? Just get there quickly. It could be, the, it could be a car. God, it's a bush. Yeah, the really annoying thing about autumn is all of these bushes are the same colour as those bricks. <laughs> Keep playing, stay in the session. I've been doing this for so long now, I'm being booted out of my session. Holy shit. I'm so sorry. I am so, so sorry that I am completely inept when it comes to finding this car. And I know that a long time ago, I should have stood, just started going up and down, up and down, in a very systematic way. Right, where's north? The north's over there. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go over to the east, not all the way because we know it's not past this road. And I'm going to go up and down from here. So from from this road, I'm just going to go all the way uh, to the edge of the circle. The reason I'm going this way first is because I really, really thought I'd seen the barn. Is that it? Oh, I knew I'd seen it down here. Why didn't I spend more time here? There it is, guys. There it is. Oh, da, 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 da. oh I need my car, don't I? This isn't going to give it me. I was approaching slowly, but there we go. Now we've got the location. That's where I thought it was. I should have spent more time there. How the hell did I miss it? Oh, so it's behind me. Oh, let's get up on the map. Unbelievable, unbelievable. I had seen it before, and uh, I knew that's where it was. Oh. Sorry about that, really, really sorry about that. Stop turning anywhere, I'm going in a dead straight line, I'm smacking through these trees, and I am collecting my my bonus. Oh, it's not, I'm not gonna go there, I've gotta go over here real quick. I can't believe how long that took, and I'd seen it before, that's the most annoying thing. So, so sorry, guys. And I know I could have found it much more quickly if I had just got out of the car. Here we go. Do we have a winner? Yes. Aye. Stay where you are. Don't go anywhere. I have no... <gasps> Lovely jubbly. So we got an old Bentley, a very expensive car. It's like a Bentley. Yes, it is a Bentley. It's quick. We have about as much as a cruise ship. Who cares? It's not in very good condition, is it? So it was a Bentley. 
So what I'm going to do now, I'll shut down this video. Obviously, it's going to take a long time for him to fix that up. Yes. Yeah, you do that. You fix it up for me. Oh my god, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Look at that deck chair. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? Just flapping along in the wind there. I love all the little attention to detail on this game. Ah! <laughs> I accidentally stood on my accelerator whilst trying to look out of the window. <laughs> God, I'm useless. But there we go, guys. That is where you get the old Bentley from. It's a very, very expensive car. Uh, it's not like a Forza Edition one, was it? I didn't. I forgot to look at what it said at the bottom when it told you what the car was. But um, I, I like old cars, but I'm not actually that keen on Bentleys. But I do like old Bentleys. Uh, but I'm not keen on the new ones at all. They're, they're quite ugly. And I, do, I know I've said it on a different video, but I do feel from the back, they look like the old Austin Maxi that my dad used to have when I was a kid. Uh, but they're so bad from the back, they're horrible. Uh, but uh, yeah, they're not my thing. Uh, very luxurious inside, but, um, but I don't like Bentley's. Why can't I accelerate? There we go. Right, let's just stop. So there we go, guys. I do apologize for the ridiculous amount of time it took me to find that car, and also how uh, idiotic I was being in not just getting to the circle and immediately, systematically, just going up and down in lines. I mean, the thing is, I always find bar finds, barn finds really, really quickly and easily, so I didn't expect to have that much trouble. But uh, I think I've got two left. Two left to get. Uh, can I check from here? I don't think I can. Maybe in cars. Uh, no, I don't think I can. So I, I need to be at home to do it, so I can't have a look in here. But yeah, I've not got that many left to get, probably about two. But as soon as he has fixed this one up, and, uh, and I can go and collect it, I'll make a video showing you exactly what's in the car. But yeah, my most sincere apologies for that ridiculous, ridiculous search for the barn. And I definitely should have done it a little bit more systematically. But uh, as I said, uh, I will put a timestamp in the video to the interesting points of this. So unlocking the Maserati, buying Edinburgh Castle, buying Bamborough Castle, and finding uh, an old, um, not Bugatti, what am I talking about? <laughs> an old Bentley. Uh, so there we go. Uh, you take care. Leave a like if you want to. Leave an, a dislike if you didn't like the video, if I've wasted a lot of your time. Leave comments. Good or bad ones are very welcome. Uh, abusive comments, as always, they will just be deleted. If you've got something important to say, just say it. If it's good, great. If it's bad, great as well. If it's abusive, it's, it's not going to be there. I'm just going to delete it from my channel. Uh, so just don't bother doing that. You take care. Have an awesome day. And I will see you soon. When I get this car, I'll make another video. I'll upload it and I'll tell you what the car was. Bye-bye for now. Have an awesome day.